Hi all, welcome to another Dave Downey Fly Time video production where I'll be tying some of my favourite flies for you guys to make it easier keep you entertained during this dark period of time in the world I won't keep going on about what's happening in the world but you know it's, it's pretty bad to be honest uh, who knows what's going to happen in the future who knows when we're going to get to go freely fishing again so I hope you all enjoy the video and I do hope that I'm going to keep you entertained while well, some of you are obviously be stuck indoors. So today I'm going to be tying an all time favourite for small still waters, eh, for lock fishing, just a yellow dancer. Everybody's got a different way of tying it. So in the vise I've got a Kamasan 175 size 10. So I would tie this on 14 up through to an 8. If I'm tying it on a 14 to 12 and a 10, I'll use a smaller bead, so we're using 2.8 to a 3mm bead. Obviously if I go to an 8, I'm going to use a 3.8mm gold bead. So we've got the gold bead already in the vise. I'm going to tie with my favourite thread for tying lures. It's a uni thread, 8 fire orange. We're going to get some spring water blue marabou for the tail. So it gives it that nice blue colour when it's in the water. We're going to need some pearl razor flash for the tail as well. For the rib, we're going to use uni wire, and it's a soft wire, small and red. It's really your own choice what you use for the the, the, the rib. Obviously, for the body, everybody uses different things. You know, some people actually use the original mosaic uh, and twist it, so you get a blacker colour. It's really your own choice. I'm going to be using this today, light bright, the bright multicolour one. Uh, as you can see, it's got all different colours through it, yellows, pinks, oranges, it's really really good, I really like it, you could add other dubbins to it if you wanted, and last but not least we need obviously a, a yellow hackle, cock hackle, nice and soft, so let's get started, I'll get the thread on the hook, so, and then we'll go halfway back up, we'll get our marabou, and I says I always keep it on a stock to the last minute. So on a fly this size, I'm going to cut about an inch of stock. So we've got about an inch there. And I'm just going to fold it and bend it. Obviously tidy it, tidy it up. Right. And we'll just catch the tail in. So that's how it's got the tail in. Okay. Next thing we want to do is we want to put a couple of strands of pearl razor flash over the tail. Right, you only need maybe four or five, you don't really need that many. So we're just going to set that, push it round so you've got a couple on either side of the tail. Just lift it up and cut it. And keep that bit for the next fly. So that actually has got a couple of strands of pearl in there, right? Then what we want to do is get the, the red wire and always put the wire inside the bead so it's keeping the pointy end out of the way. Then we'll go back up the body. Okay. Back down and then back up a wee bit. And then back down. Right, so I'm happy with that. So I don't even need to basically varnish, eh, varnish, what am I talking about varnish? We don't need to actually wax the thread. Yeah, if any time I've been to a World Championship or a European Championship, one of the best anglers in Scotland, he's been Double Rivers Champion as well, Simon Cocker, and a really good pal of mine. This is always his go-to fly on, on the lake sessions. Because, you know, it's like me with a humongous, or my damsel. It's, I've got that much confidence in it, and he's got that much confidence in the yellow dancer. So you can see the different colours on that dub, that dubbing. And what will happen with the, the the fire orange thread is when it gets wet, the thread will show through, which is what I like. So we're going to get the yellow hackle now. Take off the flue. And then just, if you can, stick the point of the hackle under the bead, catch it in. 
this is just a Chinese hackle Chinese cock hackle because they're soft compared to some of the other ones right, you don't want it too stiff you want movement so we're just going to palmer that down and I always catch it with my thumb on the last bit so I, I can move the wire across and then swap hand hands so we can catch the wire right and we'll catch that in and I always give it a wee twist as well just in case there's any of the fibres are stuck you know they've been pushed round by the wire ok and I'm just going to give that a shake should come loose ok and I'm just going to trim off the end of that and as always double whip finish and a bit of varnish on the next whip finish just because it's in behind the bead so a bit of varnish on the thread and then just pull it tight and just move it and what will happen is it will distribute the varnish a bit more evenly and trim off that's you guys it's a yellow dancer that says different versions, different bodies that's the one I like uh, don't use it that often. I says I don't really need to because I've got my, my 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 damsels and my humonguses and my my alien pattern. But you know I can't kind of go with that as well. And it, it does catch fish. It is a, a a good stocky basher. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope it's going to cheer you up and, and keep you going. And in these dark, rubbish times, because it's actually nice weather to go fishing just now. But a lot of people are stuck indoors. So take care. Look after yourselves. Be safe. When you go, get yourself a mask, pair of rubber gloves, uh, and get tying. So, take care. Have a look at my website, www.fly-fishingworld.com, and you can follow me on Facebook to see what's happening. David C. Downey. Instagram is Dave Downey Fly Fishing. So, once again, take care and tight lines, guys. Bye for now. <laughs>